Speaker, as I was saying, the black market has no age limit and no quality controls. We also know that there is a better way. With tobacco use, we've seen a public health approach succeed. Not prohibition, but a focus on regulation, restrictions on public use, and, commercial, and restrictions on commercial advertising, and a focus on education. Fifty years ago, 50 percent of Canadians smoked tobacco. That number is now less than 15 percent. We don't write tickets to responsible adults for smoking a cigarette or drinking scotch. We regulate and we educate. Our approach to cannabis is driven by public health. There's a strict possession limit of an ounce, an age limit of 18, and provinces can set it higher if they so wish, and a strict but sensible limitations on commercial advertising. In taking this approach, we recognize the potential harms associated with cannabis use, but we do not overstate them. The National Academy of Sciences in January of this year released a literature review of the current state of the evidence and recommendations. Yes, we know that there is an association between high cannabis use and psychosis. It's dose-dependent and may be moderated by genetics. We also know that there is an association between high alcohol consumption and, 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 and mental health, and we are not criminalizing alcohol. Yes, we should seek to limit the harms of, of gambling. We should seek to limit the harms of alcohol. We should seek to limit the harms of cannabis. But prohibition is not the answer. Our policies should not be permissive but nor should they be fear-mongering. Now, we've struck, the, I think the, the leader of the Green Party recognized this as well, but we've struck that balance between Canadians as responsible adults and a public health approach. Legislation on this subject that satisfies a civil libertarian like myself and a former police chief like my neighbor from Scarborough Southwest is no easy feat. CAMH supports our public health approach, as does the Canadian Nurses Association.